the northwest corner of Spain. In Galicia, we have this instrument that is called the Gaita Gallega, and the city I come from is a city of 100,000 people. 10,000 of them are involved in the backpack school. So being in Orense means that either you play soccer, which is like the other most popular thing ever in Spain, or you play backpacks. my sister, I have my husband too, my brother-in-law, my cousin, that was my band when I was 17, 18, so you usually use the people you don't have to pay first, <laughs> and then when you start making money you fire those and you hire professionals. So you said you have a husband, do you have children? I do not have children, and that's a... Um, that's it. even today when, I, when we were driving here, we were talking about that. I spent nine months of the year touring, and that has been like that for the last five years. Wherever I am on a weekend, he's a teacher now in New York, he teaches Spanish. So, and it's very funny, it's like, I have a tour in Europe, do you want to join me? And he will say, oh no, I have a tour in Africa, would you like to join me? Yeah, of course. So now he gets to choose the tours he wants to come and visit, so that's fun. So I think what we can do now is to hear those three bagpipes and to see the difference because one of the most fascinating things about bagpipes is they tell you the story of the community. They can tell you if it is a cold place or a hot place. They can tell you if the animals they had around were sheep or lambs. Uh, they can tell you if they had a military tradition or a sitting tradition. If they were instruments for marching or for being like in a bar for people to sing around. So please come to the stage.